What's happening, people? So the title, Nature Demands Sacrifice. Um, so in every, in every evolutionary step, um, there is an incalculable loss. And I think this is something that is forgotten. A lot of things are forgotten. Um, it's an important factor to remember in when we're discussing essentially moving we're essentially discussing evolving in many of the um, in many of the, the debates and the um, exciting new fields that are coming up um, around AI and technology and and medicine and these kind of things. Um, I think it's it's important to remember that evolution is not about taking the best or certainly not about taking everything of one species and then adding it and then adding something extra to it and then creating a new species. And it's not, it's not, it's also not about taking the best of one species and then just transferring that and then adding something on it. Um, discarding the bad and the mundane. Um, yeah, so it's, it's not that at all. And it's important to remember that uh, evolution a lot of it um, a lot of what we value our value systems doesn't it don't they don't correspond with with nature in many ways um, all that we are today there was so much that was lost and given up beforehand in other species um, in order for us to be um, created and those things that we've given up, I mean, we, we don't know anything about it. I mean, we can look at other species, certainly. Um, but l let's take, um, uh, you know, the uh, Cro-Magnon Man and, um, yeah, other, other kind of humanoid species before us. They had qualities, um, amazing qualities, perhaps, that we will never have, we never experienced. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's important to remember that nature makes deals and often great and wonderful things perhaps are given up simply for what is useful, um, simple survival. Um, and perhaps sometimes just to see what will happen, just to, just for a mutation to happen. and. It catches on for whatever reason, for whatever uh, subtle, almost inconsequential reason, something takes hold and um, and becomes dominant. Um, I think certainly if if some kind of um, if complex life survives and it goes from us to something else, then no doubt there will be improvements in many ways. Something will be better. Um, in relation to the environment, better adapted, um, better able to function in specific ways, but not necessarily more beautiful and not even necessarily more complex. Um, it won't necessarily be more rich in its appreciation of life and nature and um, a sense of spirituality and all these kind of things. It, it doesn't have to have depth. Um, it doesn't have to have breadth. It, what it needs what necessity is, it needs to survive. It needs to be able to adapt to the environment. Um, and it certainly won't take all of us. It will take, I, let, let's say it is AI. Let's say it is AI and it does come from us. Then it will, it will take some of us with it um, just because we are creating it. We are imbuing it with something of us. Um, Yeah, it won't take everything, um, but it, there is a price. There is a price to pay um, for this evolution and any kind of change has a cost. And this is, this is the key and this is the point I really want to make. No one gets to pay less than what it's worth. So you can't sit, we can't simply pay for AI with hard work um, or even time. That's not enough. Just as... It's not enough. It, it's not enough 
to just do hard work in order to be successful, in order to change from a boy into a man. Hard work doesn't doesn't get you that. It doesn't have that kind of value. Um, you have to pay for like with like. You have to pay for what is value with something of equal value. And in the case of us, we have to give up something that we want, something that we love, in order to gain something that we want, something that we love. Um, so the example of a boy becoming a man, you have to give up the boy, which is something you love and enjoy and want um, in order to become the man. Um, yeah, and, and it is often the case that you ask the question, was it worth it? Um, usually the answer is yes, but perhaps not. Um, the question becomes, what will nature demand of us um, for us or what our for for us or for our creation for it to be adapted to the new world what will we have to give up um, in order to adapt whether it's it's us and we enhance ourselves or whether it's our creation um, yeah so try and imagine a future of AI or man machine hybrids um, you know get get science fiction for a sec second um, think about space travel and really deep interconnectedness and endless inf information and virtual reality and um, essentially a brand new world try and imagine that and feel that that wonder and that awe um, the possibilities and the, the kind of the deeper broader existence and and at the same time, feel that all that needs to be paid for. There is a price for that wonder and that um, that value, and we have to pay that. Um, and we will pay for it with the qualities and the conditions and the understandings that we love now, that we have earned in many ways um, through countless generations um, we will pay for the wonder and possibility with our own wonder and possibility um, it, it sounds it sounds a little bit depressing perhaps I don't think it's a zero zero sum game I think there is progress uh, I'm not optimistic in that sense but I think progress comes with terrible destruction and what is sacrificed will ultimately be forgotten uh, what was sacrificed to create us is ultimately forgotten perhaps in stories um folk tales and religious stories of angels and fairies and whatnot there is a semblance of what came before and um what value was lost um but they are stories so it's an yeah it's an interesting thing to think about what will we actually have to pay in order to achieve this next step i'm gonna leave you with that all right see you next time bye bye